welcome again to Minecraft Dad and me, Paul McChain. Now, today I'm going to be showing you around my TARDIS uh, on BBC's Doctor Who. Now, this is uh, the TARDIS from Matt Smith's 11th Doctor. So, I'm just going to have a quick show you around the thing. So, these are the four sides of the TARDIS. But there's going to be a surprise when we go inside because this is not the actual shot as I'm going to show you. It's this little mini one here at the bottom. <laughs> Doesn't look great. If we look around, yep. it's going to be bigger in the inside than it is on the outside. Let's go in. And this is my console room. So I'm just going to switch the main lights on. them on. Now they're on. And now we're going to switch the uh, centre uh, console. And that should go up and down like in the TV show. Switch that on. There we are. It's going up and down. And if we look underneath, that's the rest one. Making that work. Right. So one of the cool things about the TARDIS is it's got many rooms that it's always expanded and never ending. So let's go through the first section and we've got a nice big long corridor. Now that big sphere is supposed to represent um, a black hole. Now we've now watched uh, Matt Smith's uh, era of Doctor Who. Who watched the episode Journey into the Centre of the TARDIS. There is a black hole that powers the TARDIS. So that's what it represents in my mind anyway. So let's go for this corridor. Now you might have noticed this from a previous tutorial. This is my uh, laser door. So I'm just going to deactivate my laser door. Now we ask by the green I can walk through. Now this is a cool lighting system I devised. It's like a lighthouse. So if we just switch that on. It scrolls across like a lighthouse. That's quite cool, isn't it? Now, we do want to walk through that section. There's a spikes coming up. If I walk across them, an instant death command's going to run and kill me. So, we want to switch that off on my special code to walk the side door here. And the controls from the little trap. So, that controls the instant death in the command. And that just turns the spikes on and off. So, if we turn them off, let's turn them off. That's turned them off now. Let's turn that back on. There we are. That's on now. I don't know where that bit of carpet's gone on the side there. And let's make sure that's on. I don't really matter, I think, really, at all, but. Always a bit safe to be a bit safe and sorry. And. Uh, the little door on the side there. Ah, oh, it's a little nether portal. And here's this, uh, the uh, ice scanner door for the reality tutorial. Link in the description. There we are, that's my end portal. Alright, let's go back out and we'll go to uh, uh, another corridor and see what's done that. Let's turn that light off. There we are. Uh, let's turn the activate that back so no this can go back through it. Right, let's just speed back around through this corridor. Back to the main control. Right, let's pick another corridor. Uh, let's go down this one. Now this is quite cool. This is the library. We always hear about the Library of Doctor Who. We've not seen it in the current reincarnations of the show, but in the classic Doctor Who, but I thought I'd put it in anyway. And why not? It's, why not? I've put a uh, multi level command block uh, elevator. <laughs> That's the call the call button, it calls the elevator. Um, don't have to press it in this case because we're on the first floor and it's already open. But here we are, it gives me the choice of 
uh, four floors, current floor, and three floors above it. Press that, we're going up to level four. Here we are, we're right at the top. Uh, let's check the down function. So let's go to level three. Um, let's go back to four again. It's a bit slower on the on the up. Much faster on the down. Let's go back down to uh, three. You get the gist of how this works. Right, let's go back to the bottom floor. Right, what other rooms have we got to explore in this TARDIS? Let's go back to the main control, uh, control room. Uh, let's go down this one. Now, another thing we always hear that uh, is in the TARDIS, but we've not seen in the Bond series, is the swimming pool. <laughs> well, so that's quite cool, I'll put it on. Now, this swimming pool has got a working wave machine. Uh, there's another tutorial uh, for this. Uh, section of the build in the description. It's a bit slow. Should make another version to speed this up. Alright, let's turn that off. There we are, that should be turning off now. There we are, it's turning off. There we are, those wheels are dissipating. Right, it's going to through this door and we're in another corridor. Uh, we are two by two jab door. Now this is quite cool. We've got fans, working fans. We we'll switch them on. I've got another tutorial for, for these in the description. Uh, some working lighting. There we are. Those just pushing it out with pistons. Yeah, those applause. I'll switch the lights off, obviously, because we've got running uh, running commands in the game. It's going to make the game lag, especially with all the red sword and bits and pieces we've got running this, on this uh, on this world. Oh, we're in another big long corridor here. Now we've got some big traps. Uh, draw bridge. We don't want to fall into there, so if I pull that back up, nice big pit of lava under there. We don't want to fall into that. Right, let's go across here. Uh, here's another larger door. Open that. No, I thought I. That's quite cool. I thought I caught bit lots of different types of uh, doors into this corridor with lots of different effects. That's just the close function. So this one's a slightly different style of door. And this is another totally different one. This one's a bit more hidden. That's quite cool as well. Now we've got two ways to go here. Now this door's a bit of a trap. It is a 10 by 10 door. If we open this. Oh. All those particles appear. Now there, again, there's another uh, link in the description for the tutorial for this. Um, if we go into here. I've set a command when you go into those particles, you die. So you don't really want to go this way, so let's go out. Close that door, I can see the game's lagging. So all those particles are running. Yeah, those will be the way the door's closed. So we go through this corridor. Now, just for a green. If we go down this other corridor, it's going to take me somewhere surprising. It's quite cool that little lobby. Oh, another room. Don't know what to put in there. I think of something. 
Ooh, nice. Bit of a lag. There we are. Now, <laughs> just for a grin, I thought I swapped uh, sci-fi show. <laughs> and I've got a Stargate. Link again in the description for this tutorial. That's quite cool. Share runs unlocking just so look at the Stargate board crap. There we go. And the wormhole's going to open. Hey, Stargate activated. I'll just be shoving the show, eh? Switch off in a minute. There we are. So we're transported to a completely different location on the world. As you see, we're miles away from civilization. Let's open this Stargate. There we are, different style Stargate. So before the final, all the share wants to load up. Fast evasion, like there we are. Let's go for this word ball. Oh, lag, lag, right here we are. Right, I should finish off with some stairs there, but I haven't got around to that yet. Right, let's go back through the main doors. Right. Right guys, well, that's it for this video. Uh, if you like what you saw, please click the like button for this video and hit subscribe. And I shall see you next time guys. Ciao for now.